idea. Normally for breakfast, I would cook some hamburger meat, but since we're here and already have some cooked, <laughs> breakfast of a champion. And then while it's cooking and heating up, I'll be taking my vitamins. Some hamburger meat in the morning, just to stay strong and, and feel good because I'm gonna have a long day. Where are you going today? Media day. Oh, I gotta take a picture of this, hold on. Cool. H-Town, what's good? G-Man in Chile, check it in. It's age North Cut in the building with G-Man in Chile. We talking UFC on 97.9 The Box. A young Thundercat, man. 6-0 right now, right? 6-0? Yes, sir, 6-0. 19, and you're already doing big things. I mean, the sky is the limit. I mean, Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's... Man, don't we feel worthless, man? man, man <laughs> no. I didn't even accomplish... I don't even know what I accomplished when I was 19. Man, y'all are awesome. <laughs> man, we know what happens when young fighters fight all the guys, man. They, the young guy always Thank wins. You. <laughs> Keep it going, brother. Thanks. Keep doing your thing. Thanks for having me. Uh, I told you guys I had a uh, special guest in this week. Sage Northcutt. St Sage, what's going on, man? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thanks for having me. How far are you willing to go? Right, well, everybody, everybody wants to be the UFC champion, so... Yeah. Like my goal is to be the youngest UFC champion wow, in UFC wow. history. I want to thank you again for coming on and being part of Heated Conversation. Thanks for having me. It's an honor. Boom. Yeah, you're awesome. Nah, you're the kid. <laughs> they let me win. You know what I mean? They told me when I was winning every time. You know? <laughs> so we're going bowling. This is how it is normally before a fight. Just kind of relax, hang out with the family, and have some fun. Oh, you made it. Yeah, I made it. In the passenger seat. <laughs> hey, I'm up first, right? Welcome. That was to show you guys what not to do. My sister is so good. She's awesome. Oh, that should have been a strike, dude. That should have been a strike. Dude, you beat me by one, Colby. Just one. All right, green stuff. <laughs> so I'm just in my daily routine. Usually I start off by making some oatmeal. Uh, you know, maybe have a banana or a smoothie. Just getting at it regular day. Nothing's different. I eat a lot of smoothies, so. Kind of one of those things I'm real big on. Just kind of runs right through you. Gives good clean energy. I really don't start to really cut cut weight until like the last couple of days, and then it's gonna get you know hectic and stuff. But right now, just same routine, you know, every day. We're starting to taper down a little bit, just kind of, you know, going through the movements and stuff. Go! Everything's already been learned, you know, I'm not gonna learn anything in a week, so just kind of getting the body moving. I know there's no way he's training as hard as I am, and you know, I'm just super ready to go, just, you know, real confident. Gotta be a fighter, that's for sure. Fighter for whatever you believe in, you know. You know, I just want to prove to everybody that if you follow your dreams, you know, anything can come true. My weight's on point, so I didn't really have to cut too much last night. Normally, I sauna every night. And now I'm just on my way to go to the chiropractor and do cryotherapy, which I do for all my fight camps. I think it's really important to take care of your body and. With the chiropractor and with cryo, it really makes your body as close to 100% as possible when we're in a sport where you're really Hi. never going to be 100%. Hi. Good to see you. Good. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Funky. She's one of those dynamic fighters that, you know, she's not one dimensional. She, she can find herself comfortable anywhere in that cage that you got to make sure that everything is moving correctly from head to toe whether it's her neck or her low back all the way to her ankles and her, and her wrists so our main job is just to keep everything moving so that she can go into that octagon and perform to her best ability and what she does best inside the cage. feel better. I feel all loose now. <laughs> it always feels good. Awesome. Hi! Oh! oh, oh yeah. <laughs> what is this? I'm a 
camera will be with me today. <laughs> so cool. I'm all hot kicker for you today. Thanks. Is it a stamp card for me? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Awesome. Okay, have a good one. Bye. Thanks, Nia. <laughs> when you're going through like a weight cut and a fight camp like this, it's mentally and physically a pain in the butt. And you have to be able to treat yourself. And the coffee makes me happy. connected with animals a lot better Bitch. than I did with humans growing up. You know, there wasn't really much in my childhood that like made me happy other than no sports, animals, and give up anything that could potentially get me out of the house that I was I grew up in. So like that's why I turned into Wait, martial arts. It helped my anger. It's like the classic like, you know, martial arts builds confidence and stuff, but it's true. Like it, it really did help me out. They're also great training partners. For instance, Rose's running warm up before practice. I started putting Mishka in agility. She'll climb the tree right here. See a dog climb a tree? Hey, Mish. <laughs> I think she, she can chase, get up there too, she, right? She, she runs at squirrels, Come on, and then the squirrels, squirrels run up the tree, on, and then she runs up the tree, and you see squirrels <laughs> go, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Like, yeah, no, I don't like her to chase Mish. squirrels though, because I'm actually secretly afraid of squirrels. Like, Come squirrels on. are just like, Drab if they were human it. sized, I'd think they'd take Drab over. It. Drop it! Come here! All the people that live up in the Himalayas, you know, they all they all broke for what reason? What? Because <laughs> they love Tibet. Shut up. You don't <laughs> that's stupid. That's so dumb. That's what makes it good, right there. That's so at low dumb. level. Heck. <laughs> Heck, I see people they, they get dumber when they train with me. It's not because they take punches. <laughs> yes, I yes, can. Rose is a, a sweet lady, and uh, she's very athletic. That's a you know I'm, I'm very impressed with her athleticism or footwork and just basic body position. She's very uh, able to generate a lot of power for, for a, a small person. She's an animal in the cage. She's got a great personality. She's always uh, smiling when she comes in, very nice to everybody. This isn't just like a five week training camp. It's like a 23 year training camp. I've been training this for all my life. 